Well, it is a great delight for us to be out here at Little Prince, and of course, I'm with Ryan Seeley. And Ryan, today, our plant pick, we're going to be talking about what, you know, when I was first starting in this industry, mm -hmm. the Haworthias were just one plant, just a green, beautiful right. plant, like this one kind of right here. Right. But there's been an expansion. There has been. There's been, you know, a huge growth, you know, especially with all the succulent craze over right. the last last many years. Um, Haworthias, which are all of these little guys, are all a, all a Haworthia, have all kind of, you know, they've been bred and changed and more new ones that have been found all the time. That right. they're all starting to look, they used to look kind of the same, and now they're getting some really cool markings and well, Certainly, even in this selection right here, there are some obvious differences. There are. So let's, you know, start it out as you used to get a lot of them with the, just the kind of the stripings on the, on the different bands. Uh -huh. You're getting them now with, you know, the different spotting on the leaves right. or getting some, you know, even look like this one that looks like, you know, crocodile skin. And or just even some color variations. There is, right. On. This is going from kind of the burgundies to the greens. You get the dark greens. Um, so there's a lot of kind of fun, cool spotting that are, and markings that are going on. So now I'm going to allow you to correct me on this, because if I'm wrong, I want to be corrected. These are not hardy outside? Not hardy outside okay. in the Northwest. So they do a want great to be, house plant, though. They are an excellent house plant. What we love about them is they're such an easy care plant. Um, so they're not wilting down and drying out super, super quickly. So they're very resilient. So right, we've had right. some of these just sitting in a windowsill where forgot to water it for a month or two. And it was fine. They had kind of dry out, soak them up, and they... they and then if you right see back. that happening, you go, oh, I haven't watered this in a while. They're awfully forgiving as well, though, once they get They water. do. And so okay. they, they will rehydrate themselves and, and kind of come back up out of that. So show me a couple of ideas so, of what we can right, do. So, you know, so we've done these, you know, these little uh, polar bear and, and little, little elephant planters. Yeah. These work great in here because a lot of times you have these small little pockets where you don't have a lot of room True. for growth. So even though they have a lot of root system on it, they're not growing very fast, so they stay very compact, and they're not requiring a lot of the water. So they are excellent choices in here for going inside the house, right. for sitting on a desk in a windowsill, places like that. And then what about sun? Do they want sunlight? Sun like they do. They shade? do like the. They do like the okay. sunshine. So I would not put them in a deep dark closet or bathroom or something like that. So they do want a kind of a bright window or a bright sunnier spot. Nice. Um, we'll well, then I notice on this one too, Ryan, that this looks like it's pupping. Is that how they will expand? It does. So that's kind of how they do a lot of the divisions on them. So as they grow and get older, they will start sending out these little pumps, kind of like your, your hens and chicks. Right. So we have the right. big one in yeah. the center. They'll get these. So these can be, you know, with time, you can divide out, tease apart the roots and pull this off, and you would have an additional and a plant. whole new plant. One, yeah. two, three, you know, a half dozen plants or so would be able to come off of this one and then replant them and eventually they'll just keep growing and dividing out. And you know, a lot of garden centers now carry your products and I love that you have done with this a selection in one flat for people. Yeah, so we've been, you know, we're growing over 14 different varieties and then there's more in the pipeline too, but on availability this week, there's 14 different varieties. We're like, well, that's kind of a lot for any right, one place right. to want to carry that many. So we put together mixes like this that the garden centers can bring in. So these are all accessible to garden centers, or we also will sell, sell them online. Well, I was gonna say, you guys now really have started selling things online, so people not only in our region, but literally all over right. can get these great plants. Right, we always, we always like to you know, promote the, the local garden centers that are carrying do, our yeah. products, but we get requests all the time from people across the United States that see your product or, or know our name, they would like, how can we get your plants? Wonderful. And so we do have an online store that we do promote these. And, and we'll send them, send them out that Sounds way. Sounds good to me. Well, you know, every time we come out here, we always find something <laughs> we ourselves like and is new and different. So for more information on whether you want to buy them online at places or the locations that you can go yourself and pick them out yourself, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Ryan, my right. buddy, thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, William. <laughs>